Cheers, babies. These have been really uptight. I've sensed the tension collectively going on. News reports and wars and rooms of wars and people sticking their head in the dirt and biting their nails. You know? <sighs> Can we just relax? I've longed, I've yearned to see some of you at the Lord's table. So let's recline. Let's take a moment and just collectively say cheers. All is well and all shall be well. Let me read some verses. I need, I need a drink. I need some lightening up. I need some divine intoxication. So Psalm 23 verse 5. Glug, glug, glug. <laughs> you prepared a table before me over against those that afflict me. You anointed my head with oil. And your cup to me was supremely intoxicating. Psalm 36 verses 8 and 9. They will be intoxicated with the fatness of your house. And you will give them drink from the wadi of your delights. A wadi. What the heck is a wadi? It seems like my, my mind is like some container is just brimming and oozing and you can't even contain it with a dribbling wine and getting a mess all over the place and that sweet stickiness. Sweet sticky wadi. He will give them to drink from his sweet sticky wadi of his delights. Because with you is, the fount is life's fountain and in your light we shall see light. Psalm 65, 9 and 10. You visited the earth and intoxicated it. You multiplied, enriching it. The river of God was filled with water. You prepared its nourishment. Because so it, because so it was your preparation. Intoxicate its furrows. Oh, God, come in and intoxicate our furrows. <laughs> oh, Song of Solomon. Chapter 5, verse 1. Eat mates, mates, eat, eat mates, and drink, and be drunk, brothers and sisters. Jeremiah, chapter 23, verse 9. I am like a drunken man. Like a man overcome with wine because of the Lord and his holy words. Isaiah, chapter 48, verse 18. If you would only listen to my orders, you would have bliss brimming like a river. You don't want bliss brimming like a river? Oh, goodness, I'll drink to that. Uh, uh, Isaiah chapter 59, verse 8. They care not for what leads to bliss. Their paths are void of justice. They take the crooked course where bliss is all unknown. It sounds like a major buzzkill to me. I think I'll stay off that path. <laughs> you know. 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 11. According to the glad message, be encouraged, babies, according to the glad message of the happy God with which I am entrusted. Have you heard the glad message of a happy God? <laughs> it don't get any more complicated than that. It's just flat out the gospel. Full of a lot of bliss and a lot of reason to recline, kick your feet up, 